The Roman Catholic Diocese of Rochester has now become the first in New York State to file for bankruptcy. The filing comes as the diocese is paying out millions of dollars to victims of child sex abuse under the Child Victims Act. We get the latest on the story tonight from 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley. I don't see this in any way as a tactic and would come to the conclusion that we could not minister to every victim who comes forward and help them out if we did not go this route. The Rochester Diocese has already paid out more than $4 million to 43 victims of abuse. But Rochester Bishop Salvatore Matano assured parishioners that church donations would not be used to pay out victims. Buffalo attorney Steve Boyd, who is handling dozens of cases against the Buffalo Diocese, says he's now representing many new cases in Rochester. Boyd tells 7 Eyewitness News the Rochester Bishop should, quote, be ashamed of himself for filing chapter 11. This is a move that is just another form of cover-up. The cases now go from state court to federal bankruptcy court with an appointed panel set to decide on the cases instead of a jury. We were dying for this process to be decided by jurors. We wanted the public to tell us if we were right or we're wrong. We were fully confident to go in front of a jury and show them every single one of our cases and let the jury decide who did what and what it's worth. Boyd says he wouldn't be surprised if Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone also files for Chapter 11. Last week, Malone told reporters he's looking at either litigation or bankruptcy. So we're, right now, that's the honest truth. We're looking at both of those um, very, very closely and carefully. And I have not yet made a decision. Boyd says filing Chapter 11 not only protects the church from creditors, but prevents the truth about the priest abuse scandal. And this is another legal maneuver to keep the truth hidden. It sounds like it's clearly the coward way out. Oh, it's definitely a coward's way out. They're shutting this down. They're not shutting it down financially because they don't have that power. But they're trying to shut this down in terms of discovery so that they can keep their secrets secret. And that's what they're all about. Boyd says for most of his clients, it's not about the money, but getting to the truth of what happened to them. Boyd expects to have 200 cases filed through the Child Victims Act by mid-October. Nationwide, 18 dioceses across the U.S. have filed for bankruptcy because of clergy sex abuse. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.